Our next performer is familiar to the airways from This American Life, many podcasts and comedy festivals, and his new book is called Parking the Moose, One American's Epic Quest to Uncover His Incredible Canadian Roots. Please welcome back to the program, Dave Hill. Hi, how are you? I'm incredible, thank you. Um, give it up for the band. I love watching you guys try to do your thing. So glad I brought earplugs. Anyway, I'm gonna play a little guitar tonight. Um, why don't you, as long as you guys are out here, why don't you uh, uh, stay uh, with, out here with me and uh, let's do a little vamp and be, see if you can keep up. <laughs> Yeah, just lay it down. Uh, Nancy, stop playing, jeez. Where do you get these guys, Craigslist? All right, I'm gonna rip the solo. Sorry, I blacked out, I blacked out. Anyway, um, bring it down. I want to talk to the people a minute here. And Chris, before I get started, I want to say thank you so much for having me be a part of the holiday show. I love the holidays, all of them. I don't even care what holiday it is. It's like, give me any holiday and I'll just celebrate it like a mother. And, uh, but my favorite holiday is Christmas. I love Christmas. I love all the presents and the sex. But if I had to pick a third thing that I love about Christmas, it's that song, The 12 Days of Christmas. Does everyone know it? Sing it if you know it. I mean, not right now, just on your own time. Anyway, I got to thinking about it, and I figured, like, the only way the song, The 12 Days of Christmas, could have possibly come into existence is if everything in the song, The 12 Days of Christmas, actually happened to someone at some point in history, right? And I figured it was, like, a long, long time ago, like, way back in the 80s or whatever. And the way I figured it was, like, there's probably just some guy, I'll call him Mitch, right? And Mitch is just walking along, minding his own business when he runs into his buddy. Chris, give me a name for uh, Mitch's buddy. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, uh, Jonathan. Jonathan. Oh, Jonathan, fancy. Um, anyway, so Mitch runs into Jonathan, and Jonathan's like, hey, Mitch, Merry Christmas. And Mitch is like, yep, December 25th, can't wait. And Jonathan's like, actually, Mitch, we've all been talking. We decided this year, instead of just the one day of Christmas, we want to do 12 days of Christmas. And Mitch is like, well, man, that's sounds pretty crazy, but count me in. How's it work? And Jonathan's like, well, you know your true love, right? And Mitch is like, yeah, Karen. And Jonathan's like, yeah, Karen. And um, so, all right, on the first day of Christmas, uh, Karen, your true love, she'll give you a gift and you'll give her a gift. Second day of Christmas, Karen gives you another gift, you give her an another gift, and so on and so on for 12 days. And Mitch is like, all right, I think I got it. I'll see you later. Merry Christmas. Or should I say Merry Christmases? Ha, 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 ha. And Jonathan just kind of looked at him after that because that was a bit weird. Anyway. December 25th rolls around, first day of Christmas. And also, for reasons that will become apparent momentarily, uh, Mitch and Karen are in a long distance relationship. Very important bit of information. Okay, first day of Christmas, ding dong, someone's at the door. Mitch goes to the door and it's a delivery guy, right? And Mitch is like, what'd you bring me? The delivery guy's like, I brought you a partridge and a pear tree. And Mitch is like, what the hell is that? And, um, and the delivery guy's like, a partridge, that's kind of bird, a pear tree, I actually think that's pretty self-explanatory. And he's like, yeah, I know. Just not what I expected. Uh, you know what, just uh, set it down next to the couch. I'll see you tomorrow. Mitch goes to call Karen. It goes to the machine. He's like, hey, Karen, it's Mitch. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Uh, got the partridge in a pear tree. I never saw that coming in a million trillion years. Hope you like the sweater I got you. Uh, call me when you can. Merry Christmas. Second day of Christmas, delivery guy shows up and he's like, today I bring you two turtle doves. And Mitch is like, wow, there must be some crazy bird theme going on that I'll never understand in a million trillion years. But, um, you know what, just set it down uh, in the living room and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. And the delivery guy goes, there is one more thing. I have another partridge in a pear tree for you. And Mitch is like, no, 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 no. That was the first day of Christmas. And he's like, no, it says right here, second day of Christmas and a partridge in a pear tree. He's like, all right, you know, fine. Set it down the other side of the couch, see you tomorrow. Mitch calls, calls, calls Karen and he's like, Karen, I uh, got the two partridges in a pear tree. Uh, lucky me, I guess. Uh, hope you like the earrings I got you. I'll call me when you get this. Merry Christmas. Third day of Christmas, delivery guy shows up and he's like, today I bring you three French hens. And Mitch is like, well, I guess I'll have 
French eggs and ha 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 ha. And the delivery guy, he laughs politely at that. Mitch is like, I'll see you tomorrow. And um, the delivery guy's like, there's a couple more things I have. Two more turtle doves. And Mitch is like, ah, fine, throw them in the living room. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. And he's like, there is one more thing. I have another partridge in a pear tree. And Mitch is like, mister, you bring that in my house, I'll stab you. And he's like, well, dude, you can't talk to me like that. And uh, he's like, oh, sorry, sorry, just set it down uh, with, the, with the others. I'll see you tomorrow. He calls Karen, he's like, uh, Karen, uh, three partridges in a pear tree. Uh, believe me when I say you shouldn't have. Call me immediately. Fourth day of Christmas, delivery guy shows up and he's like, today I bring you four calling birds. Mitch is like, oh, what's a calling bird? And delivery guy goes, I don't know, and they make bird sounds like, whoo, and ka. And uh, delivery guy's like, oh, my landlord's not gonna like that. I'll see you tomorrow. He's like, a few more things, I have three more French hens. And Mitch is like, no, no more French hens, they're not even French. I said bonjour to him all day yesterday, they just, they just looked at me. Mitch is a bit of an idiot, probably should have mentioned that. Anyway, uh, and he's like, a few more things, got two more turtle doves. And Mitch is like, no more turtle doves, I didn't want to mention this. The turtle doves have been getting intimate with the French hens, and I don't believe it's consensual. It's very hard to watch. I'll see you tomorrow. So there's one more thing. I have uh, another partridge in a pear tree, and Mitch is like, you son of a bitch, we're over there. And, um, 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 fifth day of Christmas, delivery guy shows up, and he's like, today I bring you uh, five golden rings. And Mitch is like, oh my god, thank god it's not birds. And the delivery guy's like, you're not gonna like this at all. And he takes four calling birds, three French hands, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree, throws them through and runs away as fast as he can. Fast forward, and he calls Karen, and he's like, ah! And, um, Fast forward to the eighth day of Christmas, delivery guy shows up and he's like, today I bring you eight maids of milk and Mitch is now you talk. <laughs> delivery guy was like, uh, I was hoping you'd say that. Where should I put the cows? And Mitch is like, oh man, the, cow, the maids start milking the cows, their milk is spraying milk all over the place like they're working at some sort of sexy car wash. Mitch just got the floors we done filing or last thing you needed. And uh, fast forward to the 11th day of Christmas. Delivery guy shows up with 11 pipers piping. And as if the piping itself weren't annoying enough, they won't stop playing Danny Boy. And Mitch is like, stop playing Danny Boy. And they're like, no, Danny Boy. And um, 12th day of Christmas. Um, delivery guy shows up and he's like, today I bring you 12 drummers drumming. And, uh, and, and so Mitch's apartment's like basically guitar center at this point, right? And the drummers, you know what I'm talking about, the drummer man, uh, they're having all these lame conversations about symbols and poly rhythm, rhythms and these a stupid argument about who's better, John Bonham from Led Zeppelin or Neil Peart from Russia. It's like, oh my God, how's this even a question? It's John Bonham, duh. And uh, thank you. Um, and then meanwhile, the turtle doves are completely violating the entire bird population. Uh, Mitch's apartment. So he snaps. What I neglected to tell you is he had saved up all the golden rings, right? He brings them to the pawn shop, gets a gun, comes back. The delivery guy's still standing there and he's like, oh, I'm still gonna need a signature on all this stuff. Mitch poof, blows him away, right? Then he's a good guy, horrified by his own exact actions, turns the gun on himself. Now we have a murder suicide. Merry Christmas. Hope everyone's happy. The police show up. The police show up and they're like, oh my God, what's with all these cows? But then on the plus side, the police love Danny Boy. So they're like, Danny Boy. And um, the landlord show up. Landlord shows up and like, he's so horrified by what he sees. He's just like, Mitch can forget about getting the deposit back. Mitch's poor family shows up and as if it's not bad enough that Mitch is dead, when they hear the thing about the deposit, they just lose it. And, uh, and um, then finally Karen showed up. Turn in, she, she, she'd been in Cancun this whole time. And um, she didn't even get any of this stuff. She didn't send it, the delivery guy had the wrong address the whole time. When everyone hears this, they're like, oh my God, it's the worst Christmas ever. Finally, Jonathan, your jerk, your friend, the guy who thought of this whole 12 days of Christmas nonsense shows up and he's like, hey everybody, what's going on? This spooks the cows. They start to stampede and everyone runs like, ah! And the cows are like, moo! And the pipers and the cops are like, Danny boy, and ah! And anyway, everyone's killed except for the turtle doves who are just, Pumping away. Anyway, the reason I bring this whole story up is that's why we now just celebrate just the one day of Christmas. Thank you very much. There's no one, no one like Dave Hill.